This is Matt here from NoobAlert.com with Tommy Tallarico. Where? Where is he? Oh, that's me. Hi. Uh, yeah, this, this guy <laughs> is no joke. Um, video game composer, musician, co-founder of Video Games Live and the current host. Uh, this guy does it all. Wow, that also sounds... A, a I'm, I'm busy. Yeah, you're a very busy that man. I sound busy. What the hell am I doing here talking to you? That's a good question. No, I'm just Look kidding. Look at this sign. Look at this. We're here at the Smithsonian. We're here in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian Institute, no less, celebrating the art of video games. And what do you think about the exhibit so far? It's awesome. I mean, I mean, you know, the Smithsonian's, you know, probably one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious museum, certainly in North America. And, um, you know, I mean, how cool is it for the video game industry to, you know, be recognized by such a, you know, powerful and prestigious institute and museum and stuff. I think it really says a lot about where video games have come. And that's kind of the reason I created video games, or not kind of the reason, it is the reason that, that I created Video Games Live is I wanted to prove to the world how culturally significant and artistic video games have become. So, I mean, you know, here's just uh, more, uh, more proof that, that it's, you know, it's evolving into our culture. It's become the entertainment of choice for the 21st century. You know, guys like myself who are now <clears throat> in their 40s, but who grew up on video games, um, you know, it's evolved into our culture. It's, you know, just because I turned 40 doesn't mean I stopped playing video games. It'll, and, and, and in 20 years from now, all be well, you know. We'll, our, our generation will be grandparents, and we're still not going to stop playing then either. So, you know, it's really going to—it's only going to keep growing and, and getting bigger and bigger. And again, this is you know one of the cornerstones, one of the turning points. I think things like this, things like video games live, are really when people look back in history and say, when did it really like start to become mainstream? I think you know people are going to you know look at moments like this. So you mentioned Video Games Live. Uh, you have a show coming up in April here. Yeah. Uh, and you're traveling around all the time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Video Games Live? Yeah, I mean, we do about 40, 50 shows a year all over the world. Uh, wherever you are listening to this, just go to our website, videogameslive.com. You can sign up for our mailing list, and we'll tell you when we're coming to your area. But we have a tour dates. Uh, page and we play all over the world so we're doing Malaysia we're doing uh, the, a big we, every year we do a big show at E3 um, in Los Angeles and uh, I mean next couple of weeks we're playing Chicago area London Ontario we're Bethesda Maryland here on the DC area playing two shows playing New Jersey we're playing Arkansas for crying out loud and that's all coming up in the next in the next couple of weeks uh, we're going over to Malaysia doing LA we're doing a whole Brazilian tour uh, we're touring other parts of South America as well, like Chile and uh, Mexico City, uh, doing a big European tour, a whole cross Canada tour at the end of the year with 10 cities in 14 days. So it's crazy. But I mean, Video Games Live is all the greatest video game music of all time, played by a full symphony and choir. But what makes it really special and unique is that everything's completely synchronized to massive video screens and a stage show production, special effects, rock and roll lighting, interactive elements with the crowd so I kind of like to describe video games live as having all the power and emotion of a symphony orchestra but combined with the energy and excitement of a rock concert mixed together with all the cutting-edge visuals and interactivity and technology and fun that video games provide because video games are fun so why shouldn't a show about video games be fun absolutely I mean my wife wouldn't catch me dead at a uh, symphonic orchestra concert otherwise. right right but I can gladly get her to go and myself to go to one of your shows and stuff. Uh, very so, cool. Um, if, if you haven't actually checked out one of the shows, you definitely should. Absolutely. Um, or buy one of the Blu-rays. Um, Absolutely, yep. We had a big PBS special uh, a couple years ago, the Blu-ray. Di they're about to let the audience in. We got, we got a big Pac-Man here about to come in. We got <laughs> but uh, yeah, l listen to that crowd. We're right about to go hear Hideo Kojima talk. And uh, we're going nuts. It's great. Gamers at the Smithsonian. I bet the Smithsonian's never had stuff like this before. No, definitely they not. They certainly haven't had a Pac-Man walk around, that's for sure. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much for your time. Cool, man. Um, make sure you guys go to the website, sign up for the, the mailing list. Yeah. And, uh, and Facebook. Join us on Facebook because we actually have events pages for every single one of our uh, things and every one of our shows. And we, we get... We want you to help us decide what the set list is going to be. We need your help creating the set list for all these shows. So if you're going to a show, say, I want to hear Metal Gear Solid. I want to hear, you know, this 
Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, we put it in the show right out from Facebook. So you decide. Again, it's interactive. So everybody go to Facebook and tell them you want to hear Ninja Gaiden 2 on Nintendo. Is that what you want? Stage 2-2 two two with okay. the snow. That's, I, that's what we want to hear. I've met millions of people. We've toured the show for seven years now. Uh, I talk to thousands and thousands of people after every show. No one has ever asked for that. So you are the first, my friend. I don't know if that's good or bad. The but first of many. First of many? Okay, we're going to start it right here on Noob Alert. All right. There you go. Thank you guys.